Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Advanced Warfare In Depth. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the Ballistic CPU Attachment, which is for sniper rifles, and it reduces the sway on the sniper rifles, therefore making them more accurate. It'll do odd little things to the game stats, but all it really does is reduce the sway, and this is going to be a qualitative episode. Not a lot of hard stats, not a lot of, like, you know, text popping up and stuff. The gameplay that you're seeing is me using the Ballistic CPU on the best sniper rifle in the game, which is the Moors. I am playing Hardpoint, no, my bad, I'm playing Momentum on Riot. Get those two confused just a little bit and I don't uh, snipe very hard it's not my forte not my area of expertise so I do struggle a bit but I feel like the gameplay that I get here is above average for sniping the first thing I want to talk about is how sniper rifles in Advanced Warfare have been changed compared to previous Call of Duty games. Previously, when you would aim down sights with your sniper rifle, it would ADS and be dead center to the perfect middle of your crosshairs to the screen to whatever you were pointing at. However, that has been nerfed to where now the you know idle sway function that makes your sights bob up, down, left, and right is pretty much constantly going on, and I do have proof of that. I'm going to go ahead and show you a clip right now. This is me with the moors, and you can see when I zoom in, even though I haven't moved an inch, the crosshairs are zooming in on a different part of this Arabic writing every single time. And I'm going to pick it up, and I'm going to start doing it pretty fast here in just a second. And you'll see that it's pretty much constantly going. It never zooms in centered, and it doesn't really stop, which is kind of frustrating. And this was a nerf to quick scoping and sniping in general, making it much, much harder to do. The goal behind that, that it was too easy in previous games, namely Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 2. The ballistic CPU attachment reduces that sway. However, the question is, how much does it reduce it? So we have a little comparative test. The sniper rifle on the left is without the attachment, and the sniper rifle on the right is with it. This is the Moors, by the way. So on the right side of the screen, with the ballistic CPU, you'll notice that your sway is lesser in that it's a small area that it moves and more importantly that it moves slower the crosshairs on the left side move around much faster and are therefore more difficult to control this is even more pronounced on the Atlas 20 millimeter the one on the right with the ballistic CPU stays pretty bounded within the Arabic writing and moves pretty slow whereas the one on the left is a pretty big area and it moves all over the place just watching these you can get a very good feel for what the ballistic CPU does and it does the same on every sniper rifle just these are by far the most common two and the two that I wanted to show you you just it, it's just something that's nice to see side by side. You don't really get that experience in games sometimes. The ballistic CPU is a really good attachment if you want to do grandpa sniping, if you want to sit in the back of the map or look over a key objective and pick people off, and if you're going to be very far away. However, if you're close to the enemy, if you're going to quick scope, if you're going to play an aggressive sniper, if you're going to try to get these last minute picks or whatever on search and destroy, I don't find it to be very useful. The effect is not as pronounced as it has been in previous Call of Duty games. It was more of a minor one. And you can't stack this with other optical attachments. Previously, I could put on some other optical attachment and then the ballistic CPU. Unfortunately, in Advanced Warfare, I have not been able to do that. And I find that other optical attachments like the variable zoom sight or the thermal sight or just something like that are far more useful in sniping or quick scoping or playing aggressively than the ballistic CPU is. Again, not bad attachment, just personal. Personally, not for me, and for most of you that will probably be playing a more aggressive sniper, I don't think it's going to make the biggest difference. Well guys, that's all for this episode of In-Depth. I hope that you enjoyed it, and that you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. The previous episode was on the laser sight, a lot of math going on in that one. The next episode is going to be a full gun review on the SN6 SMG. That might take me a day or so, as I haven't gotten all the gameplay yet. Gotta get to work on that one. And as always, if you enjoyed, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.